Yo, you want to see the whole process on how I fulfill an order? Let's do it. Big Fat Man Scoop, Brooklyn Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching the Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. Short me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you got to do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there. And I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Fat Man Scoop, Big Brando. Let's go. Sad everybody, boy Big Brando, and today we're gonna be fulfilling an order from start to finish. Now, there's been a few people that commented and said, hey, can we see the whole process from when an order comes in to how you fulfill the order, to pressing the order, to shipping it out? I'll try to walk you guys through the whole process without giving up customer information and stuff like that, but it starts out with catching an order. So as you can see, my Shopify app right up here, there's two orders that still haven't been fulfilled, so let's get into them. So whenever I get notified on my phone that orders come in, I come down, sit down at the computer, and I print out the shipping label. All right, so I don't know if you could completely see what's going on here, but these are the two orders that we just seen on the phone. We're gonna open this one up, see what they bought. This person right here bought a 2XL of the LA Don't Love You t-shirt in black. So we're gonna come up here to create shipping label. This is going into a poly mailer, shipping it out tomorrow. All right, so we're gonna come down here to first class package. That's gonna come out to $5.17 to ship one t-shirt in a poly mailer. All right, without giving out the customer's information, we're gonna print this thing out. All right, now that the shipping label's done, what I'm gonna do is write on the back of the shipping label what size, what t-shirt, what color shirt they ordered. So when I go back there to press it up, I know exactly what I'm pressing and what order goes to what. For your reference, this is what it looks like. Hopefully that's in focus, 2X black LA shirt. So now I'm gonna print the other ones out and then take it back over there and then we're gonna start pressing up these shirts and packing them all up. All right, check it out. We got it written down on the back here, 2X LA shirt. Here goes that 2X all style t-shirt and we got the transfers ready to go, cut out from the gang sheet. We're using the Heat Press Nation Signature Pro 15 by 15 heat press right here. Pressure setting is set to heavy. Temperature is 320 for 15 seconds. Once again, we're using super color transfer. I'm gonna bring the camera a little closer so you can see exactly what we're doing over here. Here we go. Pre-press. Make sure all that moisture is out of there. Left chest print, four fingers down. I'm lining up the center of this transfer where the collar meets the shoulder. I got a little piece of tape right here to let me know exactly where that's at. And then I'm lining this up perfectly straight with that. Four fingers down from the collar. I got this thing set to heavy pressure. On my sure pressure knob, it's set at 53, 320 degrees, 15 seconds. Hot peel. We're gonna hit it one more time. Now let's flip it over, do the back. What I'm doing right now is I'm pulling down at the armpit where the armpit of the sleeve meets the body of the shirt. I'm pulling down on both sides, making sure it feels even on both sides. I'm laying the collar all the way over, not the back collar, the front collar. I'm making sure that it's laid all the way over. Here's the next transfer. This is gonna be the back hit. I'm going as close to the top as possible. centered up. I have a center marking on my press right here. This is the true center of the bottom platen. I'm lining that up with that marking. If you don't have a marking like this, I suggest you do it. Find the center. This is the true center. Push it in. Get it going. Hot peel. Now we're gonna hit it one more time. 
finished product. Front hit. Back hit. All right, now let's fold up these t-shirts. flip folder you can find on Amazon. I got a link in the description if you wanted to pick one of these up or you can just search it up yourself. Don't mind the noise in the background. We got the embroidery machine running at the same exact time. Lay the shirt down. You fold up the excess on the bottom. Flip it over. Done. Do one more here. This is the print money design. Big Brando logo on the back. You can pick these up at bigbrando.com if you wanted to check them out. If you didn't, by all means, don't check them out. Fold up the excess. Both of these shirts are 2X t-shirts. Bingo. Now, this is something I do. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. These are clear poly bags to put the t-shirts in. This just adds a little bit of extra to the customer buying experience. When the customer receives this, they get some big Brando stickers. You can find these on Amazon. I got the link in my description for these two. Just like that. So when the customer receives this, they get the chance to open up a brand new t-shirt out of this bag. It also protects it from the dust that's floating around the post office. Once again, is this a needed step? No, it's not. You can just throw these into a poly mailer and get going if you wanted to. For myself, I try to give the customer a little bit of an experience. Stickers. Seal it up. Like I said, this is not a needed step. You operate the way you want to operate. If you wanted to do custom poly mailers and custom poly bags, by all means, go for it. As you can see, I'm not pressing any custom neck labels in there. Still using the all style neck label. Stickers. This is a 3X t-shirt and it fits inside these bags also. 3X. That's it, all right. Into the poly mailer. Seal it up. Now let's put the shipping label on. There it is. Double X Black LA t-shirt. All right, there you have it. Start to finish on what I do when orders come in. One of the biggest reasons I operate this way is because I can control my own inventory. What I mean by that is I just stock the blank t-shirts, right? So if I'm offering size small to 3XL, I'll stock up small, medium, large, extra large, double X, triple X t-shirts, and I won't press nothing on them until orders come in. Now, the reason I do this is because I wanna control my inventory. I don't wanna waste shirts, I don't wanna waste transfers, and I don't wanna waste money. What I mean by that is, if I had to get all of these t-shirts screen printed from a local screen print shop, usually what happens is they have a minimum. So I have to meet the minimum. Second, I have to guess on the sizes that I want to get printed. Usually people say, all right, I just need a dozen small, dozen medium, dozen large, dozen double X, extra large, whatever it is, right? So now you're getting about 48 t-shirts, 60 shirts, whatever the minimum is. And what if all of those smalls and mediums don't sell? 
Now you're stocking up 48 to 60 t-shirts on your racks pre-printed, and then you have size small and medium not selling. They're already printed, you have a dozen of each, but you can't move them. The way that I operate is I just stock the blank t-shirts. So if no size small and no medium sell, those blank t-shirts stay there until an order comes in. Now on the other end, Let's say on my website, I have six different designs that I'm offering. Now the customer can pick from any of those six designs. Doesn't matter the size because I'm just pulling the blank t-shirt in the respected size that they ordered and the design that they're ordering. So I just pull the transfer, boom, slam it down, ship it out. That way I'm only pressing stuff that people order. So once again, I'm not wasting money on pre-printed stuff. I'm not wasting money on stuff that I have to sell, like I'm forced to sell because it's already printed up. I operate at my own leisure. Stock up the blank t-shirts, cut the transfers out, bag them up, get them ready. And as orders come in, pull the blank shirt, pull the transfer that they order, press it on, ship it out. Now, everything shown in this video, I have links for in the description box, the heat press I'm using. Heat Press Nation Signature Pro 15 by 15. That machine I stand behind. I've had it for years, no issues whatsoever. Transfers I'm using, super color transfers. Link for that is in the description box for you also. All of the shipping supplies that I use, poly mailers, clear poly bags, the t-shirt folder, all of that good stuff in the Amazon link in the description box for you. And the online store platform that I use is Shopify. That's where I run my website. That's where I buy my shipping labels. All of that is ran through Shopify. And the shipping label printer that I use is the Dymo Label Writer 4XL. I believe that's in the Amazon link also. So if you're looking for anything, whether it's blank t-shirts, whether it's transfers, whether it's equipment, the link is always for you in the description box, labeled out exactly what everything is, all the stuff that I use, all the stuff that I recommend. Feel free to check it out. If you wanted to check out any of the t-shirts that I'm selling, that stuff is in the description box also, bigbrando.com. If you got any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, bigbrando.tv. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yeah.